Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video, <sighs> I'm not really sure what we're gonna do for today's video, but I just feel sick of it. I am sick of my makeup. I got makeup everywhere, everywhere. Well, it's my job as a makeup artist, but even makeup for myself. I just got it everywhere. Sometimes I can't find where is my lipsticks, my foundation, whatever. So I think, hopefully, I can make it till the end for this video. I want to make capsule makeup. If you ever heard about capsule wardrobe, I want to make a capsule makeup for a little corner of my vanity. And I just have to stick with that for the whole season. I think that will be a good idea. I probably will wear them a lot. Otherwise, I'm just gonna pick up the same stuff over and over again. And I'm not gonna running out of my stuff. I have plenty. This video is really inspired by, I don't know the name of it, but I remember her name on YouTube is Use Less. Not useless, useless. Her blog is about decluttering your clothes and that sort of stuff. I really love her mission for this year, which is we have plenty. I think that's the hashtag. And it's true, we got plenty. Before I start with my own clothes, I start with my own problem, which is my makeup. I will link her page down below. I just get that idea to start for myself, but I started with my makeup, that's the deal. About my bare face, it's not because I'm not well prepared to make the video. This is my approaching. I just want to show you, I feel happy with my bare face. And why not? You see? There you have it. I got eczema, so it's okay Like not to be picturing yourself always perfect. Please get my point as my braveness to show you me in bare face. Got it? You got it? You got it? All right, let me show you around. So this is a makeup corner that I have. I need to share with my husband. So we got a long table here. That's his space with his work also, you know, games and that sort of thing and this is my corner and this corner somehow sometimes get along to that corner you know what I mean <laughs> so this guy over here who lived there is always feel annoyed by this also from here down to the bottom is my makeup this is just like a nice thing that I show you because I still got a lot on my loft. My makeup suitcases, my bags, I got plenty. I admit that. I think it's a lot for a norm normal <laughs> people that wearing a makeup. So yeah, wish me luck. I want to pick up the stuff that I will going through for this season, which is supposed to be spring here in London, but it's not happening yet. Again, wish me luck. Let's do it. Back again, showing you around what I normally have on this little corner. I always have the stuff under my mirror down here. Some of it I'm not really reaching for. That's, that's the reason I make this video. Right, maybe we can start with complexion. If you follow me on Instagram, you know I always reaching out for this nude wear liquid from Suku. I do really love this because it is very light and very hydrating because I have very dry skin. Just having like a light coverage for myself, I will keep this. I just clean up this. So, you going back there. Still for my complexion, I think this is also a must for me. Because this particular shade, it is really matched to my skin tone. And it's multifunctional product for me. So, you will be going in. 
my foundation is my concealer as well so i think i need to put like this coverage to my station you also going there i think that's the only thing for my complexion so you're done for now moving on to there you go eyeshadow i think i made my decision i just gonna grab this to palette for the whole season first is always goes to path magret the way this palette blend it's it's amazing it's just like you can do it as like as light as you want or opaque as you want so that's why i feel like it is really worth to buy path magret eyeshadow the eyeshadow i got this on yeah, Black Friday 2018 to 2019, you do the math, you know, I really abused this palette but I even not hit the pen yet, like, because you don't need that much. Also, I will pick up this. I bought this when I was in Australia and this is called Chi Chi. This is like a, like Australian drugstore kind of product. The shade here. This shade give me the spring vibe, and I really want to playing around more with more vibrant color. So I need to challenge myself. All right, that's two eyeshadow. Go there. Next is ah, this is another hard decision one. Lipsticks. Oh well, lipstick. Hang on. How about my new surat? <laughs> it's so pretty though, and I feel like this also like in a spring vibe. <laughs> Should I include this? You can see my previous video. Let me try. Because I feel like this is very easy and quick if I just want to go somewhere and don't have a time to do makeup. Well, this will be great. See, that's it. Okay, cheeky one. I'm trying, I'm trying. I already cut down all of my stuff, right? And this is small, so it's not gonna hurt. I will put this to my corner, vanity. It's time for the lips. Ayah. This is still nothing guys. This is just like the stuff that I can see. But a lot of stuff like in my bag will be different situation. Oops. So this is the one that I can see. The one that I cannot see. Right. Be ready. It's all it sticks. And this is my makeup pouch. Every time I go somewhere, there's another lipstick as well there. Decision, decision. Right guys, this is the stuff that I told you I can see. <laughs> it makes appearance, but this is the one that is like God save the queen. Right, what are we gonna do here? Okay, let's get things this out. I always reach back to Lisa's Eldridge lipsticks, but I think I need to make a decision. This one is a Velvet Myth. This one is a Velvet Jazz. Velvet Jazz is very, very pretty on me. It's so pretty, but I think this will be perfect for my summer or Christmas. So I will put this away for a bit. Thank you, Lisa, but I will reach you back later. Okay, let's sort out all of the Lisa's all of the Lisa's lipstick. It is crazy. <laughs> but I do love them. I just love it. Okay, what we gonna have it now? Yeah, I think Velvet Me will be like right in my alley for now. I wanna play around with this color more often, so I think it will be there. And how about Velvet Beauty? Velvet Beauty on my lip will be like very pinky but i will take the challenge yeah go right 
there velvet beauty i feel like i need to have a brown all the time and this is velvet muse it is very natural color to my lips i can't just pick up <laughs> can i pick up all of my lipsticks ah for your information all of my lipstick could be my blush so i think i can pick up more <laughs> to playing around with makeup on my own space i love it it looks so easy i can grab anything what i want i know what it is i don't need to worry anymore like i can sense it my mind need to be like focusing on this is it only this is stuff that i need to working on it on the whole season this is it all right maybe i can make my jewelry collection later don't worry put this aside let's start from here i end up at well this is a primer but i like this primer because it's just similar with moisturizer i believe so i do really love this and i want to try to finish i add this at the end and also the only powder that i always reaching back for is the charlotte tilbury i don't need any powder really it's just just this one my hand sanitizer here like for mascara and stuff but i put the clinic here because it's just so easy and this is all the brushes i got this container from refer and it suits very well with my corner over here so in here for my eyes nothing really special just brow flick from glossier and brow setter and then um mascara i also want to try to finish this because i got this i think about last year and it's still going well it's not dry yet so i keep continue using this lovely my trusty curler lashes from Suku. Trust me, once you got your own favorite, you really can't go back. And I can find it in Suku because I feel like the shape of it, it is really, really for my shape type. It's not enough for me to not rave about it. I, I do really love this. I think I can put it there. Ah, lovely! In here, it's gonna be my Q-tip, some of alcohol swap, hygiene, cotton pads. And here, we need to talk. We need to talk. I end up having, <laughs> I got a pair from uh, M Cosmetic, pairs from Chanel, from Path McGrath, and Lisa Eldridge. And this is it's just my current lip balm. Okay, let me explain <laughs> to you what I got in here. First, let's talk about Lisa's Eldridge. I end up picking up Velvet Muse and Velvet Beauty because I feel like I don't have a lot of time to playing with them, to be honest, since I got it last year. These two Lisa's, I decide to playing around more. And after that, going to my two Path McGrath lipstick. For me, this lipstick is it's so pale on me. This one it's yeah, this one is 1995, 1995 
you might think that it's, it's not pale all this but on my lips this one it's it is very very pale and I got the flash 5 did this one for of this having that tin pink on my on my lips and I really really keen to play around with them that's the reason I grabbed my two Chanel lipsticks this one is a uh, rouge allure and this one is rouge allure velvet extreme stuff that I always reaching back for and I want to finish them and it's different with C it's more like I said to you, Lisa's and Path Magret have like very pinkish tone to my skin tone. It's kind of like my lip balm. Well, this is just like a satin finish type of lipstick, which I love. And again, it's brown. I can't get rid of the dark color. I always reaching back for these two, always. And another lipstick is a cream is it cream no liquid kind of thing but of them it's from m cosmetic i bought this i can't remember now but i'm not really playing around with it still clean because i just forgot that's the thing so i want to bring them back to life this i feel like it's so pretty for my skin it's brownish kind of orange i need to have like very dark for sake of my ombre kind of vibe so this is more like it's not brown it's really deep burgundy like i said for my ombre lip and this one is just like i can't be bothered to wearing lipstick this one is just give me such a life in my lips you know what i mean <laughs> all right that's my excuse the reason why i got a lot of lipstick here's my defense but the reason because i don't picked up a lot of type of product what i need i just have my foundation i don't have a concealer i don't have a blush so these are my blush i take out setting powder but i mean that's like uh, you know conventional makeup i don't have like a bro pomade or eyeliner right Oh, maybe I need to add that. <laughs> yeah, for this season, I, I get rid of my eyeliner. That's why I, I choose my lipsticks more. What else? I don't have setting spray. Yeah, so that is the reason why I still got a lot of lipsticks. <laughs> I hope you don't mind. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying so hard. I'm trying so hard, guys, really. I'm trying to cut down my makeup that I already had. Wish me luck for the whole season and if you make it until now, thank you. Thank you for watching. I hope you find it helpful. If you decide to make your own makeup capsule, please let me know. Tag me on Instagram. Follow me there at Aldi Setiadi. And I see you there. Also, see you on my next video. Bye! I love this.